Today I'm going to show you how to fix this this issue where you've got uh, where you've got a chart and you've got no values for certain certain months or periods, and your chart goes all the way down like this to show that it zeros, even though it's really just blank and this sh this sh shouldn't be populating at all. So I'm going to start by creating a a new sheet to just show you how this might happen. So let's say I'm going to type in all the months from January through to December here. And what I'm going to do is enter some sales data here. I'm just going to use some random notes like 500 for January, 600 for February, 400 for March. Okay. So now if I were to plot this out right now, it's going to look fine. The, the one issue that's going to come up, however, is let's say I've got this data over here and I've got a formula to say, okay, if this is uh, equal to a blank value, then it's blank. Otherwise, I'm gonna take the value here. So if I copy this all the way down, you'll notice now I run into that issue because now it's taking those, those empty values and plotting them. If I were to actually delete these, then the issue goes away. But the problem is if you're using formulas, let's say you're doing some ifs or something like that, and it's computing out to be to be zeros, it's going to plot it regardless of if it's zero or if it's a blank value. So it's going to do it all the same way. So obviously this is probably not what you want to see happen with your chart. You'd rather it not show up, especially not go all the way down like this. So there is uh, a simple way to, to do this. And instead of just having a blank value, what you can do is set this to an NA value and this will return an error. Right, that doesn't look terribly good, but I'll show you how we can fix that in a second. So basically what it's doing is now because it's an error value, it's not plotting that. Now this doesn't look terribly good if you've got this on report, but we can get rid of this using conditional formatting. So I'm gonna select these cells and on the home tab, there's a section for conditional formatting. Set a new rule here and I'm gonna use a formula and with the conditional formula say equals and I'm going to take the first cell in the range, B2, and I'm going to say, is NA B2? So it's checking if it's an NA value. If it is, what I can do is, you know, just apply a, a white font or something like that, just to change the formatting so it doesn't show up. Hit OK. And now it disappears, even though those formulas are still there. So that's how you get around um, showing, those, showing those errors. And at the same time, getting around that issue where you've got those values drooping down to, to the bottom.